In this LEGO Room update, we're going to take care of a bunch of different stuff. LEGO Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 sets. Got to finish building those, we'll take a quick look at them, and then place them. Something that the LEGO City is currently missing is bus stations, so I hope to come up with a bus station prototype. Also, a shipment with light gray tile arrived recently, so I'm going to be able to fix up the raised train line. I'm going to make an addition to the LEGO Star Wars figures that I have up there behind the TIE Fighters. This place is always a disaster, so I sort of want to clean this up. And in addition to that, I want to go through this bin here and see if there's any cool minifigures that we can integrate into the city. I hope to find some cool figures for this new mountain that we recently added to the city that has the Mountain View Observatory on the top of it. Pretty awesome, but hey, look, here's some more train track that needs to be fixed up. So essentially, I'm going to spend the entire day buzzing around the LEGO room taking care of small miscellaneous projects, building some small sets, changing up some displays, adding some stuff to the LEGO City, improving some things in the LEGO City, and also I want to talk to you guys about the warehouse. Uh, a while back I mentioned that I wanted to try and get a bigger space for my LEGO City and for my LEGO room in general, and I haven't really touched base in regards to that situation, so I'm going to talk a little about, about the warehouse and where we're at with that idea. But first, it looks like I've got to finish building the Guardians of the Galaxy sets. This one here is Baby Rocket Ship. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy headquarters. It comes with Groot and Star-Lord, some nice sticker elements there. Pretty basic little set, but it comes with two great minifigures. And then we've got Baby Rocket ship. We got Rocket and Baby Rocket. It's a pretty nice looking ship. Small, but some great building techniques. And just a little uh, cockpit here that can be opened up like that there with some interior deeds. Not too bad, lots of different points of articulations with the arms and the thrusters in the back there. And then we have the new Guardians of the Galaxy ship. It comes with Adam Warlock, Drax, Nebula, Mantis, and Peter Quill, or Star-Lord. And this thing's pretty cool. You can open up just like that there. Put the cockpit and fit two people in there, I believe. And like it's just a weird looking ship. Very strange, these motors can articulate, or thrusters I should say, and this circular shape was very interesting to create. And you did it twice, so there's a little bit of repetition there, and these sides can actually come off as these are little ships that can be flowing around. See? It came right off the side of the ship, so they actually are part of the ship, but can be removed, and you can put your minifigures inside. I love the fact that it comes with the Technic stand. That's awesome, because if this thing wasn't elevated off the ground, well, that would be sort of weird. And that seems to be the new trend with this style of ship, the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. The other one, the orange one, came with a stand, and that's currently right by the Coliseum over here. So that one came with a stand, and so did the uh, new Quinjet. So that's good that they're coming with stands now, just because they display so much better. Now, this one came with a lot of minifigures, except for Drax, in order to get all of the minifigures in the new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 set, or sets, you have to get all three sets. You know what I mean? Because this one here doesn't come with Rocket, and it doesn't come with Groot. So in order to get all of the figures, you've got to get all three sets. But yeah, this is a pretty crazy build. I like the colors of it, too. It really pops. Interested to see this new uh, ship in the new movie. So now that I've got these built, I'm going to integrate them onto the displays here with all of the other Marvel sets. Made some moves, nothing too crazy. A dragon had to go way back there from Shang-Chi. But uh, I think I like this set here. It looks good. It displays well. And all the minifigures are awesome. You got the full Guardians of the Galaxy for the first time ever here in the Lego room because... Oh, I guess I did have Drax because he came with the ugly Christmas sweater in the advent calendar. But yeah, these two sets, I mean, they don't really display that well. Truly, just the minifigs in them are very desirable, I guess. But yeah, I like this one, though. That looks really good. I should pair it up with the other Guardians of the Galaxy set. But hey, I got the Coliseum down there right now. And I don't think this set, well, actually, I know this set doesn't look good when you bring it way up top here. It has to be like on one of the bottom shelves just so you can actually see it. So I guess that's the solution that I've come up with for today. All right, it turns out there's a monkey wrench being thrown into my day here. My plans are changing. Got the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff dealt with, but I just phoned the Lego store. That's old school, isn't it? Is this the new school one? Maybe. 
But I just phoned them and uh, they got 50 new pieces on their pick and build wall. 50 new pieces. So like, I've got to go check that out. I keep running out of pieces and that is the best way to buy bulk Lego for projects here in the Lego room. So I guess we're going to go do some Lego store shopping. Woo! 50 new pieces. That is legendary. Wow. I'm fired up. Woo! I took the wife's car. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so dirty. I'm gonna surprise her with a car wash. Holy cow, everybody. This is the craziest pab wall I have ever seen. We're talking leave elements, two by two dark tan, uh, one by three plate up here. Uh, check it out, we got some glass panels, one by six by five. Masonry bricks, one by four and ten. One by four white tiles. There's just like so many crazy good pieces in here. Two by four black bricks. There's two by four red bricks. Sorry, uh, green bricks as well and red. Two by two circular green. And this is my cup so far. Look at this. There's little limb elements in there. There's a whole case of them right here. We've got boxes full of awesome parts. Like it is insane. Included in that is four by four light gray plate and green plate. There's also two by two dark gray brick, six by eight black plate, two by six tan brick. There's those green two by four bricks, one by ten light gray brick. There is so much stuff. Like check these glass panels out. One by two by two. Like those are the ones from the Daily Bugle, right? Also, the lavender. Uh, tree leaves or whatever and these 8x8 tan plates and then these as well. This is how you can make that uh, crane taller. 4x6 blue plate. I think I already pointed these out but that is unreal and these are just the bomb. Also over here beside the 1x3 light gray we've got some of these dark trans blue cheese slopes which are really good for water detail. Picked up a bunch of those once upon a time. And up here, there's the quarter round dark gray tiles and also some one by four uh, green plate, which is always good to find as well, especially when you're working on landscaping projects like me, right? Oh, look at this sand blue one by one tiles. All right, everybody, I'm about to start stacking cup number eight. So I'm just packing them using my basic strategy. I've got a six by six tower in the center and then this is two bricks tall. That fills the top of the cup there, the stud. And then around the tower in the center, I just put smaller pieces such as these tree limbs. So there's still lots of everything. And they're actually putting the boxes away. I've got my 13 cups right here, but they're not allowed leaving the boxes out. So they're actually putting them away. And a lot of the boxes have like the green plate and the uh, light gray plates and stuff. So it's crazy that they're putting them away. But yeah, this is my haul. It is insane. We'll dump it out when I get home. But check this out. The Black Panther bust is on for $270 from $450. That's such a crazy discount. See, they still have a lot of green plate 4x4 and also light gray, but they're putting it all away. In the Marvel section, they have some of the new sets as well, such as the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, the one we had a look at this morning, and also the headquarters. Where's Rocket ship? I don't see it. Oh, it looks like uh, Groot's 10% off up top there, besides Star-Lord's helmet. I don't see, oh, there's rocket ship. It's right there, jeez. Doesn't look like there's any ATTEs right now, but there is the Republic fighter tank and also the 501st battle packs. They also have Rivendell in stock and the new Land Rover Defender. And Rivendell is beside a really cool castle as well, the Lion Knight's castle. It looks like Sonic's 20% uh, off right now. Is Sonic retiring? Usually discounts indicate that. And up here we've got BTS Dynamite. They're sold out of op houses, but they have the uh, celebration train there. And I think this Duplo set is new as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. But the up houses went quick and so did the Indiana Jones stuff. This pad wall though, it was insane today. Wow, and there's still lots left. Yeah, so that was crazy. I got 13 cups, but I redeemed all my VIP points. So it's actually a really good deal. A lot of the parts in this bag here are going to be great for the LEGO City. Like, it is awesome. You know, I was talking to some staff there, and the reason it was so good is because it's a new quarter. The first quarter of 2023 is now over, right? So now we're on Q2, and LEGO apparently got a whole bunch of new pieces that they now offer to stores. So for the first month here or so in Q2, the pad walls are going to be off the charts. Like, 
it is right now. Odds are it'll be the same parts over and over again because there's a big pool of parts that all the stores buy from and pick and choose from and then they ship those. So they take the pool of parts and they ship them to the stores based on what they order. And there were some awesome pieces here at West Edmonds Mall. That was nuts. Like, holy cow. I'm so glad we came here. Like, obviously, I wanted to get some stuff done. And I just spent, I don't even know, a long time packing cups. But totally worth it. Got to capitalize on that opportunity whenever it's available, especially when you're building a Lego city like me, right? Yeah. Four thumbs up for the vlog, I think. Make it five. Gotta get it nice and soapy. I think that'll make the wife really happy. There you go. So what do you think, everybody? Have I earned myself a piece of cake? And maybe a specialized coffee? Better yet, going with the cheesecake. Woo! So now that I'm back home, I have to look after Millie. She's right over here. She's eating Minnie Mouse. Are you eating Minnie Mouse? She loves to stare at people. So I'm looking after Millie for a little bit here. And then uh, I hope to unpack and sort all of those pap cups. And then I still want to accomplish some of the stuff that I said I was going to do at the beginning of this video. We'll see. Right, Mel? We'll see. Yeah. So here we go. It's actually convenient. I brought this reusable bag. And then I was like, you know what? I, d I don't need 13 cups. So I filled them in the cups and I was like, can we just dump them in the bag? and charged me for 13 refills. And we're like, you know what? We actually need the cups because there were so many people packing cups that they were running low on cups. We're like, yeah, that's no problem. Why don't we just do that? It's perfect. And then they put all the cups back and could be reused by somebody else. So these are all the towers that were in the center of my cups. There should be 13 towers in this bag. Actually, maybe not 13 because I think I'd build one with just these glass windows. There is a way that you can pack them. I just, I didn't want to spend my entire day packing cups. Only half of it, right? Because we've got stuff to do. And I knew when I got home, I'd have to sit there and process this stuff. But in the end, 13 cups would normally cost you 260 Canadian dollars for all of these pieces, which is actually redonkulous. Like, it's actually a super good deal. <laughs> And I redeemed $130 worth of points, $138, so it only cost me like $130 for all of these pieces. But now I've got to go through and sort it all, but as you can see, like, this is crazy. Look at all those tree limb elements. I'm thinking maybe I can not only use these for trees, but we can create bushes. In fact, I know you can. So I'm thinking of creating some bushes for the campground and for... Uh, the Ninjago area and for the city and the amusement park and wherever it may be. Also, I got some green slopes. I don't know if I pointed that out. Some of these window glass, two by two tiles, and four by four plate, and two by six bricks and one by three bricks. Essentially, everything that I pointed out in the video, I got a little bit of. But yeah, tremendous, tremendous. Uh, Hall, like, this is insane. This is so awesome. Like, this is just crazy. It is just the best haul ever. I was sorting and then I was promoted to baby watching. I'm watching you. Check it out though, we got some samosas. You guys don't have enough toys in there? You gonna fight over the same toy? There's not enough? Okay. Sharing is caring. There we go. All sorted. Lots of pieces, that's for sure. It's crazy. What a haul. These are going to come in so handy. Oh my gosh, I've ordered so many of those from Lego. I was so surprised to see them on the pad wall. You know, I've seen the bigger ones, but the bigger ones aren't as good a deal as the smaller ones. And all this stuff is just going to look fantastic once we build something with it. What am I going to do with these 1x4 masons? I don't know. I think they'll pair up nicely with these, though. These could even be used to create nice sand detail in the underwater scene, right? But yeah, lots of great stuff on the pad wall, and I can't wait to see what else is on there as we move forward as well. So that's awesome. So I mentioned I was going to be updating the display up there by the TIE Fighters. We're going to be adding K2SO. Pretty cool one from Rogue One, one of the best 
Star Wars droids of all time. And you know what? Here he is, K2SO. Sort of a lanky looking droid, isn't he? Not the prettiest, but a really cool character, and he's going to look fantastic up there with the other buildable figures. Yeah, he's got a little bit of arm swaying motion if you just mess around with these Technic bits on the back here. I don't know. I guess I sort of need two hands. But yeah, K2SO, there we have it. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're doing a pretty good job of feeding yourselves, are ya? My goodness. So yeah, this display keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? We got K2SO right over here behind Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. And by Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Epic. Hey, thanks again, Rob. Appreciate it, man. In regards to the bus stops that I wanted to create for the LEGO City, I don't think they need to be any more complicated than this right here. It's got the blue accent. It's got the 1x2x5 glass panels on the side. One of the 1x6x5 glass panels on the back, which we found on the pad wall earlier. Uh, a little uh, dark tan bench inside there uh, that's supported using 1x2 dark gray plates. It's tiled off in the interior. I used a sticker element there from the extras pack. And then also I used one of the modified plates on the top there just to add a little bit of coverage. And this isn't too big. It's uh, eight studs by six studs, and those will fit on our city streets and still allow pedestrians to walk by. For example, if I wanted to put it there, there's still four studs behind. Now, I went with blue and light gray because I was inspired by ETS, or the Edmonton Transit System. Our accent color is blue, and I just thought that added a nice pop of color to the bottom and top of the bus station. And I think that works, right? Like, maybe I could put a sign in there indicating routes and stuff like that. But when I go to a bus stop, there's not, like, routes on every single bus station or bus stop, right? So I think this is pretty cool. If I build, like, 10 of these and just pop them throughout the city, and then there's some bus stops all over the Lego City, I think that's going to look really neat. So I'm going to sleep on the prototype, but I think that's pretty neat. I've got the parts to build a bunch. And they'll be able to just go all around the LEGO City. And then we know we've got bus stations. Pretty cool. I want them to be consistent. And then eventually I'll have to create train stations as well. But these extra sticker packs definitely come in handy. I've got a bunch of them. Uh, well, this is my bag of stickers. I've got a bunch of miscellaneous stickers. But all of these could be added to the city, right? LEGO signs, Octan signs, train signs, parking signs, uh, toy signs. Yeah, there's everything that we could add here. So... It's definitely nice having a good selection of these for when we create bus stations or create anything like that, anything custom really. So yeah, it's it's nice having these. But I think I'm happy with that. I should really just build 10 of them. It's got some jumpers there so the minifig can uh, sit down on the bench safely. So this is a bin of minifigures and dogs and parts that I want to try and deal with as soon as possible here. One specifically that I thought I put in here was actually... The mountain climbers. Yeah, there they are. Perfect. Mountain climbers. So I'm going to find some mountain climbers and put them on that new mountain. And I think this guy belongs to the beach, actually. That's toad board. The beach is still under construction. But a lot of the stuff is, like, designed to go on the beach or in the amusement park or on the beach or servicing scooter stations. And this minifig bin here is one that I want to deal with ASAP. There we go. We've got three rock climbers. I think this area also needs a seagull, maybe another seagull bothering the rock climbers, and then maybe a cute little uh, bluebird. There we go. A bluebird there, maybe some saplings. What do you think? Pop some of these little trees in there if they fit. I think they're the right scale. You don't want to add massive trees to the hill or to the mountain I should say because if you add massive trees guess what puts everything out of perspective if I add one of these trees over here to this mountain <laughs> it, the trees as tall as the mountain it doesn't really make sense right but these little guys you can get away with adding a few here and there and it looks good that's why I like these basic uh, tree builds and you know what I built these using parts from the pad wall You'll see them all around my Lego city. That's because just like today, one uh, long time ago, I just 
bought a whack of these. And I was like, yep, those are going to be great for building trees for the future. And here we are, getting value out of these pieces months and months, actually years later, right? And that's the funny thing about Lego building is so many of my pieces, such as the pieces in this mountain here, have been recycled and rebuilt throughout so many different mocks, right? Like they've just been in so many different mountains or waterfalls or ships in the bottle, <laughs> in this case here, because those one by one studs came from a ship in the bottle. And it's just neat how these pieces can come in handy, you know, just randomly as you build, destroy, repeat. So there we go, some nice added detail. So at this point in my day, it's magically 5.30, 5.30 p.m. already. That means bath time for the kids starts in 15 minutes, roughly, depending on how sleepy, ooh, yawny, rubby eyes they are. Uh, I wanted to upgrade this train track here. It wouldn't take long, but tonight is like Survivor night, Mandalorian night, and the Oilers are playing, so my day is sort of shifted a little bit. But either way, we did a really good job at the, the pick and build wall. Uh, we built K2SO. I thought I think I did everything that I wanted to do today other than that. Oh, I also wanted to talk about the warehouse. So my taxes for 2022 are still pending. That's personal and corporate. Once those are done, I'm going to be able to apply for the mortgage. I'm thinking it's highly likely that I get approved. That's where we're at. Still waiting for the tax man or the accountant to get my accounting done so that I can actually apply for the loan to buy the warehouse. So I'm still working on that. But that's really about it for today, I guess. I'll get these uh, train tracks fixed up another day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.